What's up guys, my name is Technobo here for Troubleshoot and today I've got a video for you, unlike most of my other ones, where I personally haven't been affected by this bug. However, judging by the sheer number of news articles and the rest that I've seen on this, it's affecting quite a few people. What exactly am I talking about? Well, I'm talking about the March slash April Windows 10 connectivity issues, especially when you're using VPNs or proxies or applications that use WinHTTP or WinINET. For example, Microsoft Teams, Office, Office 365, Outlook, Internet Explorer, and Microsoft Edge. So assuming that you have connectivity issues in general or specifically with those applications, this video will help you out. Another issue from this bug was that down here in your start bar, this Windows icon over here showed limited or no internet connection, especially when using a proxy or virtual private network. And hey, that's probably actually what's happening on this virtual machine over here. Either way, this Windows update KB4554364 is not being pushed out via Windows update. So if you would open up Windows update, check for updates, you may have one or two. However, KB4554364 will not be there. How exactly do you get this update? Well, it's an out of band update, meaning that it's not offered by a Windows update and you'll have to manually install it from the Microsoft catalog. Now, if you're like me, you're probably asking what in the hell is the Microsoft catalog? Well, check the description down below and you'll find a link. One of the links in the description down below will be a link to this Microsoft page over here with some information on the update. Scrolling down to here, you'll see if you're using Windows Update, the latest servicing stack update for Windows 10 will be automatically offered to you. However, if you didn't get this update over here, then you can go ahead and install the separate fix itself from the Microsoft Update catalog, which will be linked down in the description below. Now, of course, when going to any link, make sure that it's actually from Microsoft. Something that I would do is get rid of everything before Microsoft.com, hit enter and see if it does actually take me to Microsoft which it does. Now that we know that this page is actually officially from Microsoft, which is something you probably wouldn't believe if you looked at this, all we need to do is go ahead and search for this over here. We'll paste it in, KB4554364, and we'll hit search. Then you'll find this pop-up over here. And all you need to do is find your Windows version and make sure you click on the right one. What exactly do all of these mean? Well, you simply need to find out what your Windows version is, whether you're on 1903, or 1909. They offer both Windows Server versions over here, as well as Windows 10 versions for 32, 64 and ARM 64. What we'll do is we'll hit start and we'll type in version. Then we'll click on to see if you have 32 or 64 bit windows and you'll see this window pop up over here. Here we can find if we have 64 bit windows over here, ARM or 86, currently I'm using 64 bit, and if we look down at the bottom, we also see installed Windows version 1909. Now that we know that we're on 64-bit 1909, we'll have a look here, ignoring the Windows Server versions for Windows 10 version 1909 x64, which is this top one over here, 32-bit is right below it, and ARM64 is over here. So I'll be downloading 1909 for 64-bit. On the very far right, we have a download button that we'll have to click and it'll download the 358 megabyte update. So I'll go ahead and click this blue link over here and I'll click save. Then we can go to view downloads and we'll wait for this to finish. Then we'll go ahead and click on open folder. And obviously if you're using a different browser, this will be in a different location. I'll go ahead and close the browser entirely as well as that little pop-up. And all we need to do is simply double click on this MSU that we downloaded. Then you should see this over here. We'll simply wait for this to finish. And then I'll go ahead and hit yes. Now we simply just need to wait for this to finish and then we'll go ahead and click restart now. Then the update should be installed. Unfortunately, this wasn't the issue here with this over here inside of my virtual machine. However, if you were having connectivity issues and the rest, they should probably be fixed for you because that's what the update was pushed for. If we go ahead and type in update and head across to view update history, over here you can see update for Windows KB4554364. I think this over here is just an issue with Hyper-V and a virtual machine. However, if you are having that on your main PC or connectivity issues, they should be fixed. But anyways, that has been how to install the latest Windows 10 update released on March 30th, 2020. Hopefully this fixes your connectivity issues or anything else you may have been having. My name's been Technobi here for Troubleshoot. 
Hopefully this video helped you and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.